and welcome to another vlog with your host, Eamon Sterling. This week we're going to be looking at the JCM-1, which is a Marshall combo based on the JCM-800 lead series of the 1980s for the 50th anniversary of Marshall. Now, these have been out since uh, mid-2012, but I only just got one because I only just had the money. So, we're going to have a good try out, and uh, first I'll take you through what kind of stuff you get in the box. Okay, so here's the box. Uh, I've already obviously taken the amp out of it, but if you go inside, you basically get a bunch of foam corners to pad your amp when it's being packaged. So basically you get this box, there's my warranty down there. You get a box that looks like that, and inside there is the kettle lead, or well, apparently they're not actually kettle leads, but you know the ones I mean, but I put that over there. Um, that guitar cable just came with uh, uh, a guitar that I bought a while back. And then you get the documents, uh, which I will quickly take out the back. Okay, so here are the documents. Uh, we have the Marshall Extended Warranty Card. Uh, I didn't bother doing this here, I just did it online. Um, but it's all nice, very typical. It's only one slight thing which I went about which was, since it was in 2012, this was actually the last amp, um, or at least the last one in the fifth, uh, 50th anniversary range, to be signed off by Jim Marshall because he died in uh, April of 2012, and it's, but it still says, please fill out your and return this registration card or register online at marshallamps.com to receive your personal letter from Jim Marshall and to help us serve you better. So uh, the letter I got wasn't from Jim Marshall, it was from the new CEO. Um, but uh, like an idiot, I left that at home, as in at my flat. I'm at my parents' house at the moment because I can't crank this over that in my flat. And uh, yeah, it's just slightly awkward and slightly saddening. Uh, we also have uh, the Marshall Amplification Important Safety Instructions. It's basically just in lots of different languages, various warnings, um, and what symbols mean on the amp, like. Uh, the voltage symbols and stuff like that. There's not really anything you need to worry about other than worrying about. Uh, we have a certificate of authenticity, which I think they're pretty generic for each of the amps. Uh, it doesn't like give you a um, a uh, zero number or anything for the particular certificate, but it's it's pretty nice. I'd like to frame it. Um, and I think it's the same as the little plaque at the back on the back of the amp. And then uh, finally have the instruction manual, which goes in English, French, German, Spanish, uh, Japanese, I think that's it, and looks like that, pretty standard, really nicely printed, there's a forward by Jim, um, and then this is overview, some safety instructions, and that's pretty much the whole of the um, the manual, but um, for those familiar with it, it should be quite easy to uh, get started with, but yes, yeah, those are all the documents. You also might remember me saying that I did, I did register war for warranty, and uh, you get a letter which, as I said, I accidentally left at my apartment, but um, it gives you... 10% uh, off in the Marshall store, so I bought a cover for the amp, which is pretty nice. Uh, it kind of feels a bit like a raincoat, um, made in England, um, and just fits over the amp like this. Hopefully that you're actually seeing this. and just had a little hole on the top for the handle. It's pretty nice. And I also put some money towards uh, this uh, Jim Marshall, the father of Loud, which uh, looks really good. I was told that it's better than the illustrated history of Marshall by a long shot. But um, it looks like a really good book, so if it's really, really, really good, I might do a review on it as well. Um, but uh, yeah, it should be a good fun read. But now, on to the amp. Well, you're probably getting sick of me talking at the moment and not actually playing the amp, but I'll just quickly do a, a view of it. 
Uh, here's the front panel. You get a high sensitivity input. You get preamp volume, which is effectively your gain. You got your master volume, which is your master volume. Um, it adds a little bit of gain because it's a valve amp. Um, you've got a boost switch, which when it's in the out mode, which I think, it, okay, out mode, that is um, a typical JCM 800-220 or four. I can't quite remember. Um, and then in in the boost mode, it's um, more reminiscent of the ch the lead channel on a split channel version of the AC JCM 800, um, and also I think people compared it to the 30th anniversary series or Silver Jubilee series. Um, then you have treble, middle, and bass in the opposite order to what I'm used to, but they still sound lovely. Power switch, little JCM 800 early series, you know, the drill, Marshall logo, um, white piping all the way to the top, and uh, a little sticker, which I think is just for display purposes at the shop, but um, I'm not sure whether I'll keep it on there or not. I might stick it to a piece of uh, sticky back. Um, so that I can put it back on if I don't like having it off. And then you've got a gold, um, the golden handles. And now let's have a look at the back. You've got mains and put as per usual, um, where the cutter lead goes in and where the, where the uh, fuse is, which is actually marked. And it actually, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it on the camera, but it actually looks like the fuse logo in a circuit diagram. It's made in England, fletchley. Um, you've got two speaker outs, but you should only use one at a time. Uh, one for a 16 ohm cab and one for an 8 ohm cab. And you have high the power switch, which goes high and low. High setting is 1 watt, low setting is 0 0.1 watt. Both of which are plenty, depending on what you want. And we will be demonstrating this with a cab later also. And there's your serial number. It's got a little anniversary plaque, which pretty much says the same as the little certificate that I was talking about before. I still need to peel off the, uh, the plastic. And then you've got a little safety guide as well regarding amp safety. And uh, I'm not sure if you can quite see, but you can just about see the two ECC83s and the one ECC82 valve in there. Um, I'll turn this on in a bit so you can just see those glowing and then you've got a nice uh, Celestian speaker in there uh, which I think is rated at 15 watt but I have to check. Cool! Glowy 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 and there you see the valves glowing so you know it's all awesome and real. But now I think it's about time that you heard the thing, so let's get started. Okay, well, I figured I would try and do a test of how loud this actually feels, so if you can turn me up at the moment, and I warn you it is loud, I'm wearing ear defenders myself, if you can turn me up to speaking volume on your side, and then we'll gradually roll the amp up all the way up. Uh, all of the controls at the moment, other than the master volume, are set to boosted and at 10. And at the moment the master volume is at zero and we are on the one watt mode. So this is the loudest this amp can go.
this is at 0.1 watt. I'm going to try to take these out. You can't really hear it that much. You can just about feed back on 0.1 watt. You have to be bloody close to the amp. We are just going through the normal 10 inch speaker through here. You can just about blossom into feedback, but you have to really work it. That's way easier if you use a super overdrive or something, which we'll get onto in a bit. Okay, first of all, let's go through some uh, of the uh, gain levels. Uh, I'll put it on my favourite EQ for the moment, which is uh, treble at 10, middle at 9, and bass at 8. We are currently on the no, no we are on the 1 watt mode. We'll do some low gain stuff at low master volume. So here's, um, here's preamp gain about 2. I'm on neck single coils, and the master volume is about 2 as well. Let's put that into a bridge. Also a single coil. So you can get some very, very nice clean tones. if you're quite subtle when you're playing and then you can bring up to a bit of a crunch uh, if you play a little bit harder uh, we'll show some humbuckers that's a bridge humbucker neck humbucker Seven. I'll turn up the master volume to six so you can hear more of the amp than my guitar. Six and you get it up clean again. Put the master volume up to five. Not quite clean, but closer than the bow right up. Master volume down again to two. Yeah, I'll switch it to the 0.1 mod mode and show you some higher master volume settings. So that's master volume at 8. Same all round. Mm -hmm. And at the moment, 
easily. If we take it out, we get a lot less gain. It cleans up a lot easier. Switching to bridge pickup, single coil. Oh, bridge pickup, humbucker. Switch that to a single coil, roll it down to about five on the guitar. Six on the guitar. Almost perfectly clear. Clean, but not in tune. down to uh, preamp of two with the uh, boost switch out. Uh, rhythm pickup single chord. Humbuckered. The boost switch out is a normal JTM 800 model. So um, we've heard low gain, mid gain, so let's go up to a bit higher gain, let's say 8, and we'll put the master volume at 2 on the 1 watt mode. Now I'll switch that to a bridge pickup humbucker. It sounds like with master volume at 8, preamp volume at 8, we switch out. You hear a lot more of the throaty, tuny tone. It sounds a, a lot bigger down at the bottom end, a lot thicker. Now if we put the boost switch in, get even more gain. Slightly not as notable as um, lower master volume level, so if I bring that down again, bring it up into uh, so the master volume at 2 and the preamp, uh, the power amp is uh, operating at not, uh, 1 watt. Yeah. 
setting to put on the amp and I'll, I'll show you what it sounds like. Let's put it back all the way up. Neck up, so rich. Uh, so let's go on neck. Let's try some single chord tones. There's everything up, not boosted, everything up boosted. Single coil, neck up up. Bridge single coil. down. And uh, that doesn't sound very there. Sounds very, uh, very lo-fi. Uh, we'll take it uh, back down to the uh, unboosted mode. <laughs> Setting, so that's ten, nine, eight. Now I'll show you a very useful setting on this. You can have the master volume at two on the one watt mode, the preamp volume at six. Oh, actually, let's put the master volume up to five. That, uh, not five. Or maybe two and a half. And you get quite a nice. really clean it all the way up. Oh, I'll put a single ball as well.
pretty big overview of what the amp sounds like on its own. So um, let's see what it sounds like with a typical pedal that would be paired up with a JCM800, let's say a uh, Super Overdrive. Okay, now we have a Super Overdrive in front of us. Oh, my knee's probably in the way. Manu. Yeah, he's here now. Hello. Uh, and the Super Overdrive at the moment has a drive at 9 o'clock, uh, level at half past 1, no, half past 12, and the tone is just a 12. Um, so what it's sounds like when it's not on. That's our bridge humbuckers. Let's turn it on. Uh, let's up the drive a bit more to 12 o'clock. And the comparison app. It's a pretty nice um, pedal to complement this. Uh, Zach Wilde did it. Uh, let's uh, hear what it sounds like with boosted. No, actually, no, not boosted for the moment. Let's take the preamp volume all the way up. We'll take it to the 0.1 watt mode and we'll turn the power amp volume to about 8. <laughs> some of that off. Boosted and boosted with the game all the way up.
beautiful battles to complement each other. I'll give you a little idea of what happens if you don't use the drive on the Super Overdrive and just use a volume boost. So that's, for that, that's three. Uh, let's roll down the game a bit. Put it up. Uh, seven. Preamp game is seven. Non boosted. Preamp all the way up. And then just do a volume boost on the Super Overdrive. So this will work with most boost pedals of volume nature. This is the best we can get. So this is it uh, being uh, the cab is being driven by the eight ohm out on here. This is at a nice volume of nine on the 0.1. Uh, preamp at five, which is past five, my favourite setting, and we're on bridge single coils. You will notice quite a different tone, but it's. It's quite nice. Thank you. 
shows you can drive a big cabinet. I mean, this is rated at 350 watts, Nick? Mm, about 450. Uh, this is driving a 450 watt cabinet and it's doing it happily. <laughs> and if forget, we're still on the 0.1 watt mode. Well, let's uh, put the preamp all the way up, put our amp all the way up, it's in the 0.1 watt mode. <laughs> change the feel of the amp with the character, the cab. Mm. 
then that's for another couple of minutes. Just crank it right up. JCM1 combo in many different incarnations and many different matches with other pieces of gear. Uh, the guitar for the day was the Crow, and our sound tech for the day was Nick. Say hello, hello. Nick. Hello. He's been drinking lots. Not alcoholic things, but just stuff because it's hot. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this review, and uh, I shall bid you a ciao for now. See you later. Okay.